G'day everyone and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. It's the afternoon of day 44 and I've been doing a fair bit of doing a little bit of building outside off camera, which I'll show you later. Uh, we come down here because I wanted to show you that our mushrooms are have grown, so we'll harvest them on the way back. We're actually heading into town to take apart the all the consoles and whatnot in the missile silo to use for more blade traps because we need cars and we need mechanical parts and stuff to make blade traps so we're just going to close up shop head into town and we'll see what kind of loot we can get out of the missile silo I bought my shotgun because we're now starting to get more legitimate zombies um, I had a screamer horde while I was off camera and they... I got a cop, which was cool. Um, and I had in my crossbow, so that didn't end well for the ground where the cop exploded. Um, but luckily I managed to lure him away from the base, so nothing got too badly damaged. Um, yeah, so we've been busily laying... We've been busily building the walkways and putting in the... Um, putting in the blade traps and all of that good stuff. So we're going to come back to the missile silo and we're going to do some business here with some cars and whatnot. Alrighty, so yeah. Without further ado, into the abyss. Now. Yeah. Question is of the sleepers re respawn again. Bear in mind we still have all this loot to take back from last time. So I'm just gonna do a quick quick sweep. Just a quick sweep, make sure there's no nasty surprises creeping up on us. Nice vault hatch there. Nice drop down there where the missile comes out. Very good. Alright. No. No nasty surprises. Now, I also took the last level of toolsmithing. So we can now make 500 tools and upgrade past 500. So I now have a 543 wrench, which is really cool. So I'm hoping that will yield additional parts. And I think we have the we have the full bad mechanic too. Uh, yes, I did take final bad mechanic, so we get should be getting pretty close to maximum uh, carnage here. Yes, yeah, so I'm now carrying my shotgun out in the field, which uh, and I turned off the. I also turned off the um, forges before I left. Now let's just drop. Oh, three engines, four engines, nice. All right, let's just drop off the gas and stuff that we're probably yeah. You know, get let's drop off that sort of stuff. Uh, we'll keep the electrical and mechanical parts, which is good. That scared me, sorry folks. I'm going to turn the audio up just a little bit. It seems a bit loud, uh, quiet. Hmm. Okay. I'll just turn that up too. Now, let's just check up here. Were there any control panels? Anything I missed up here? Yes! Ooh. Lots that we missed up here. Good sources of mechanical parts up here, folks. And a good source of iron, too. If your diet is lacking in iron. You can get... Uh, 
A little bit of iron out of those. You know, actually, that's now a bit too loud. I'm just gonna just drop that back down there. Beautiful. Okay. Now these don't. No. Very good. Very good. Very very good. Nice. Now, anything on top of I'll oh, come off it. Ooh. Yes, oh, a munitions crate. Nice. Take apart the light. We can't take that apart, can we? No. AK schematic, which is known. It brings four hundred at the trader. Go deal with it. Your attention, please. Please sit down. Right, melee. Turn to melee, fools. Excuse me. Whoa. You stay down, Edgar. Look at these two fools. Oh! My goodness, what a noisy roaming horde they were. Just in case there's any coppers down here. No. All right. Looks fairly well cleared out, folks, which is good. Let's go in here. Quick check. All right. Let's get car departing. Cool, those pipes are... Oh, man. That stuff's dismantleable for... That's electrical conduit. Nice. Nice. That's electrical conduit. Very cool. 
This is going to be a good, good source of blade traps, folks. I'm just going to keep an eye on the time here. See, so if you see those pipes painted on the wall there, they are where you want to go because there's some electrical. There was some good electrical uh, componentry in there. Feel most probably better than the cars, to be honest. Because the cars, you're gonna get batteries and and you know springs that you got to scrap and brass radiators you got to scrap and stuff like that, that you got to scrap and pipes that you got to scrap. You get so much metal um, without getting the electrical bits you want. Now, seeing these are a great great source of electrical components. We're going to uh, mow through these. An E63, nice. <laughs> E-class, good mate. Oh man, look at how much of that piping there is. I think I'm going to have to do a run outside. Because we're still scrapping brass. Oh, we've got all the cars, so really all we want to get now is these... Uh, pipe work and the lights here we go for mechanical parts in that 124 nice so yeah I when do you see what we've got planned and I yeah the other thing is we need to be able to make motion sensors so we can make more turrets and good stuff like that because we've got a lot of plans for um well, I've got a lot of plans to uh, cause the local zombie populace uh, a big bunch of not fun. Let me get some more light in here. We should have bought some torches with me. something um yes yeah, so i've got a lot of ideas for things we can do to improve the base i'm um, given now the screamer hordes are starting to get very uh ferocious i'm toying with the deer with the idea of relocating our so we've got a mine here no, not here we've got a mine site here just shouldn't Save the waypoint there. That's shale mine. So we've got a shale mine there. It's not terribly far from home. So if we drilled a straight line across here with the auger, we could, in theory, build another mini bike. Put the forges over by the shale mine, run them 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, with appropriate levels of spikage and shotgun turrets up top, sort of similar to what Chief K does. Um, and then we just ride back and forth to our shale mine underground to collect resources. I mean, if you've got a mini bike, it's not a not that far back, so I'm starting to think that's a that's something we might try tonight to see how far we can get in one night if we just take the auger 
and go sick. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop in here, I'm going to take a few different things apart, show you what you get from them. Uh, chairs, you get mechanical parts, which are awesome. Desks, you can't take apart. Uh, filing cabinets, again, mechanical parts city. This is very good. Always take away part medical, uh, medical cabinets. Filing cabinets. Uh, and lights, too. Lights are always good. For electrical components. Uh, let's come in here. We did loot all of this. Make sure there's no uh, none of our friends in here. No good. Make sure there's no one hiding back here. Hello? A little oxen free. No. Alright, good. Here's the Puscatel. Okay, there's nothing inside there. If I was the fun pimps, I'd consider putting some cool lootage in there. How are we going? Got lots of electrical parts, which is good. Now, what do we need for blade traps? We need eight mechanical, six electrical. So we re that's another. Probably need more electrical. We need more mechanical now. We've got plenty of electrical. because we're not getting any mechanical... Now I can make mechanical parts, can't I? Yes, but they require steel duct tape, which we're not going to use. Sorry. That is just an abject waste of steel. In my humble opinion. I think we've got it. No, we probably don't have enough. Um, no, we'd, we'd probably be close to sufficient parts now to make. Not another roaming horde, is it? I think we get two roaming hordes. Great. Good chairs. Beautiful. Really looking for mechanical parts more than anything now. Don't get any mechanical off of this, do I? No. Correct. Well, we know where to come if we want electrical. Yeah. We know what we need to take apart if we want electrical parts. No more. After. Uh... Yeah, I'm after mechanicals at the moment. Oops. Oh, that's that's all parts there too. Nice. No. Can we get any mechanical parts off of this? No. Don't like all these sounds folks I must say but do like the parts I'm not detected so sorry folks just went a bit quiet there I was trying to hear what the zombies were up to Trash compactor, beautiful. 
Oh, we didn't toss these cupboards. Nice. Oh, I didn't want that. Uh, nothing else that gives mechanicals, is there? Oh, we got TVs. What do we get? No, just a little bit. Hundred and seventy-eight. Do 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 do. We shouldn't really go running down these stairs like this. So I'm a little bit surprised that nothing's um, respawned down here. Uh, So yeah, sorry folks, just going quiet again, listening, making sure nothing's uh, coming up behind us, or anything bad like that. No, can't get mechanicals out of those, don't want cotton, uh, I don't want springs. Mechanical parts out of those? No. No. Oh, no mechanical parts. Nice. I think we're pretty much done, folks. Oh. Yeah, it's now seven o'clock on the rocket clock, and it's time to work out how I get out of here. As I can't remember. I'm going to start by going up these stairs and these stairs through here through here and then going up here uh, jump up there then there jump up there and we're out it's eight o'clock beautiful we'll go for a ride back to awesome all right let's just drop a few things in our motor oh we haven't emptied this have we no bother all right three slots Right, what can we get rid of? Uh, scrap that. Uh, so we want to get the engine this from here. Definitely want to get those. Uh, take back as much gas as we can. Headlights, leather. Uh, that'll do. We can leave that. A bit more of the gas with us. Leave those. Take the oil. Actually, take all of those. Good. Just got to remember that's our drop-off chest here. Eight o'clock. Beautiful. All right. It's been a good session. We got all the parts we're going to need, which is really, really good. And we should be back in time for dinner back before we become dinner oh wrong turn sorry folks I was just checking uh, sorry I just said something <laughs> distract me for two seconds 
invaluable at night and dark and late in the evening those uh, poles there but yeah I'm thinking we just grab the repair kits grab the auger grab a bunch of gas and just haul butt straight for the shale mine so if we can hit the shale mine it's a bedrock so we could drive straight from here let's get our shoddy out just in case so as you can see we finished this whole row here and we've put in our first level of blade traps and yes I did say that you did hear me correct our first level of blade traps because we come over here I'll show you the testing area where I've put our test blade traps and this is what our final blade trap solution is going to look like so set of spinners zombies come in just get chewed, absolutely chewed coming through here. Chewed for days. So yeah, really, really cool, I hope. And so we're going to have electric fences, electric fence line on each side of this. And at random spots along here, we're going to have turrets pointing out this way to take care of any incoming screamers and all that stuff. Now do need to take a look at what we can do about screamers because currently screamers come up here and they go bang 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 and wail on our posts which is not good so I'm gonna try sloped blocks and pyramid blocks and see what works best see if any of them will deflect the screamers as they come in that's what we want, that's what we want to do we want them to go around this pole and then, nah, chewed up so that will be the subject of our next episode in this case, I'd like to thank you all for joining me. If you enjoyed this episode, please remember to pound on that like button like we pounded on all those beautiful um, cars and consoles and whatnot in the uh, facility down the road to get all these beautiful parts because we now have 232 mechanical parts. So if we were to take... If we were to drop off some stuff in here, like leather, and cloth, and oil, and plastic, and headlights, and anything else that we use for crafting that we don't need, like those, and oil can, can so we can make oil, and batteries and spare engines, and a bit of spare. So we've now got a goodly selection of engines too, which is nice. Um, and we get, we got six mo oh good six motion sensors. Actually, can we make motion sensors? We can. They're not overly expensive. Beautiful. That means turrets. Turrets are in our future. If we come in here and we go blade trap or blade trap, blade trap, we need to get our forged steel and forged iron. Ding ding. Blade trap, how many? Seven. That's because I've only got 70 forged iron. Okay, forged iron. Yeah, now we can make a lot. 26 blade traps. Get to work. Nice. So that's, <laughs> so that's all the mechanical parts we just got. <laughs> have just gone to make those blade traps. But that's okay. We can go do some more looting. Uh, but yeah, so thanks again for joining us. If you like this, please leave a like, pound on that like button like we did on all the consoles and whatnot. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and uh, please subscribe and hit the little bell icon for notifications. And we might work on these too overnight. We're going to take all this off this top part because we're going to do a different way we got in a suggestion in the comments and com and speaking of comments please 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 leave comments if you would like to because I love reading them and replying to them and love your tips which I try very hard to integrate into this build of ours which we're going to remove these as I said off camera because I got a great suggestion anywho thanks again for joining us later <laughs>